guys, this is Jeanette from China and this is the 8th episode of what to do as a business traveler here in China. Today I'm in Hong Kong and as you can see this beautiful harbor behind me is the Victoria Harbor. And this episode is dedicated for all you busy business travelers. If you will stop over in Hong Kong for 1 to 2 days before you going to mainland China, then this video is for you. In this episode, I'll share with you essential preparations that you need to do before you go to mainland China, as well as enjoyable experience that you cannot miss during your short stay here in Hong Kong. It seems that uh, it's gonna rain, and this is the kind of weather in Hong Kong. You need to put on sunscreen as well as holding an umbrella. Dark cloud, blue sky. I need to run. Before I show you the interesting things that you can do here in Hong Kong, let's talk about the essential preparation you need to do before entering mainland China. Nationals of about 170 countries and territories may visit Hong Kong visa-free for a period ranging from 7 to 180 days. However, since Hong Kong is a special administrative region of China, the visa requirement to enter Hong Kong is different from that of entering mainland China. To ensure a smooth traveling experience, check the links below for the latest requirements for visa application. Make sure you have a valid visa to mainland China because there's no lottery or lucky draw at the customs. Plan ahead! Nowadays, when we are traveling, the last thing we want is lost connection with the internet. Simply register for data roaming service with your current mobile service provider, or register a new SIM card in Hong Kong that provides you data roaming service in mainland China, or rent a portable Wi-Fi that provides you data coverage in mainland China. Number three, payment. This is Hong Kong dollar. And this is also Hong Kong dollar. And this is 20 Hong Kong dollar. These are the money that you can use here in Hong Kong. But if you're going to mainland China, you're going to use RMB. I don't have the RMB with me um, on hand at this moment, but I'll show you the two apps that you will use um, in mainland China. One is called Alipay, the other one is called WeChat. Remember to top up either of these uh, apps before you go into mainland China. Another important thing to note, around 80% of the payment now in mainland China are made electronically through mobile phones. Although payment using international credit cards such as Visa and Master is available with some global franchise in mainland China such as Starbucks or Five Star Hotel, if you want to try very local food and ensure a very smooth travel experience, then WeChat Pay and Alipay are definitely the apps that you can consider to download. And this is the stuff berry. I don't have to introduce it because I know you're gonna come here and try it. Enough sunshine and now let's go and try some unique things that is only available here in Hong Kong. Okay, let's go. Today, we will start from Central and the planned route with all the goodies are along the red subway line. So you can visit all within one day, nice and easy. I'm just trying to find the first shop that we're going to visit today. And this is what happened. It's raining. Okay, I'm gonna run across that building and go to that bridge. Now the rain is not that big, so I'll just run, 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 run. At the same time, the sun is still up there and we can see the sunshine. A few moments later. Smart people get lost in MTR. Although I lived in Hong Kong for many years, I still get confused when it comes to finding a specific location. And now we have D1 and D2. So, D1. Do you hear that? That is a very typical sound of Hong Kong. It was so hot, so I need to stand in front of this supermarket. 
to cool down for two seconds. And that's one and two. Let's go. Peel straight. This noodle shop is a family-owned restaurant with 25 years of history. It sells traditional handmade wonton with shrimp and fish fillings as well as Cantonese style of noodle. My favorite here is the freshly made fish ball. Chinese seasoning introduction. Soy sauce, chili sauce, fish sauce, red vinegar, pepper. And chopsticks. This is called fish cake. It's made from fish. And this is the fish ball. It's very bouncy. This is the rice noodle. This is how we eat it. This. Okay. We just finished and now let's move on to the next shop. Oops, I think it's not this way, maybe the other way. <laughs> the other shop is just around the corner. After coming out from that noodle shop, let's um, you know turn right and go back to the main street. The main street. Do you see the bridge? And the shop we are going to is around somewhere here. The bridge? Second stop, snake soup. Se Wang Fen is a Michelin recommended restaurant in Central with over 100 years in history. As you step through the doors, you will be transported back in time by the restaurant's authentic Chinese decor. Se in Cantonese means snake. As its name indicates, one of the signature dish here is snake soup. Snake soup has great Chinese medicinal value. Depending on the herbs used in the recipe, regular consumption can boost your body system. A lot of ingredients. This is the mushroom. This is the chicken um, slices. And there are some other ingredients. I'm not uh, so sure about uh, what are they, but they're very healthy for your body. This is the snake um, in the soup because it has this silver lining here. Just eat it. And the texture of it is more chewy than the chicken slices. Thanks to restaurant owner Gigi's introduction, I had the opportunity to learn about the fascinating history and production process behind the five snake soup. The restaurant also offers other traditional Chinese delicacies with its unique house recipe. Do come here and have a try! After lunch, let's take MTR from Central to Yomade and explore the Kowloon side of Hong Kong. The Temple Street is famous for its night market. It is a street full of history and is home to many famous Hong Kong movie scenes. The Red Archway boasts traditional Chinese architecture style while serving as the gate to the lively night market. You can find souvenirs, electronics, clothing and antiques along the street. Besides shopping, try fortune telling by the ancient Chinese wisdoms around the corner or have a taste of local delicacies in the open air. At night, there are many uh, street vendors uh, selling different, you know, small souvenirs along the roadside. The reason for this street to be called Temple Street because at the end of the street there is a temple. It is called Tin Hao Miu. Tin 
Ho Temple is one of the most famous tourist spots here in Hong Kong. And in Chinese culture, there are different gods ruling different aspects of your life. During Chinese New Year, you will see there's a lot of people come to this temple and pray for different gods. I will not go inside to take photos or videos, although they allow you to take photos inside without a flashlight, because it's a place for people to pay respect to the gods. So uh, next time when you come here to Hong Kong, do go inside and check it out by yourself. Stop number four. Shem Shui Bo is three stops away from Yoma Day Station. It is famous for its electronics market. In Golden Computer Center, you can find the latest games, gear, and gadgets. You can also get prepaid SIM card from mainland China in Shem Shui Bo at a good bargain. Shem Shui Bo is a very bustling area with all the necessities available within walking distance. Money exchange, medicine shop, traditional Chinese grocery store, butcher shop, and this at the store for 29 Hong Kong dollar. They say you can buy two pieces at 50 Hong Kong dollar, but only get one piece. Probably you're gonna wondering how come uh, these kind of very fashionable or stylish garments can be sold at such affordable price. It suddenly starts to rain outside. Let me explain to you in a dessert shop. See so what happens when there's sunshine and wind and rain. Uh, there are mainly two reasons and number one is uh, factory clearance. The factory need to uh, clear out their old stock to make room for the new collection. So there are going to be uh, products that are sold in bulk at discounted price and have a surplus in the Shenzhou market. And the second reason is rejected cargo. Sometimes when the buyer failed to clear import customs at the importing country, the logistic company is going to send the cargo back to the seller. And if the buyer and the seller has a disagreements in terms of who will pay for the shipping fee, then the cargo will be classified as unclaimed cargo and they will be confiscated by the customs. So you will find a lot of rejected cargo in the Shenzhou market at a discount price. In international trade is all about cooperation and teamwork. And it's very important to clarify the responsibility between the buyer and the seller and who will be responsible to clear the cargo. If you are not able to clear the import cargo, then please hire a um, import customs clearance agent to help you to do this part of the job. In Hong Kong, your meal is never completed without dessert. Okay, that is all for today. If you like my video, welcome to subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Bye bye.